Hello, I'm Archerfield. Archibald, Archibald, cut! Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III, AC3, the pontiff, fuckers, the pontiff, the pontiff is better than the governor any fucking day of the week, fuckers. And today, what I want to talk to you about is what I love about watches. What I really love, and what I love about watches, remember, like, subscribe, tell your fucking friends, tell your fuckhead friends about my channel, would you? And remember, Patreon, you can pay a little bit each month to keep me full time. You can have phone calls with Archie, 50 US dollars for an hour. You can do so much. Come on, fuckers, work with me, not against me. What I love about watches is that if you join the establishment, okay, you're a serious collector. I'm not talking about having a fucking star, a squally, a fucking Steinhardt, or a fucking box full of fucking Seikos. I'm talking a serious collector, okay? So we're talking someone who's got at least an Amiga Speedmaster, man on a fucking moon! Man on a fucking moon. <laughs> you might have a Rolex, you might add a little bit to it, you got a, a couple pieces. <laughs> Remember, it's quality, not quantity. What I love about the wristwatches is that if you've got an Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Moon, you're in the inner circle. And I had a good friend of mine today. He rang me and he asked me, what do I think of the 5270? The 5270, fuckers. Yes, 5... Two seven zero, and he asked me, just doing a quick search on Chrono, Chrono twenty four, Chrono twenty fucking four. So what's a uh, a, a five seven five two seven zero? Fuck me dead. Two hundred fucking thousand dollars. Hundred hundred and seventy thousand. Okay, hundred eighty. That's white gold. Yep. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> the question is, if you've got a, some decent watches, <laughs> you're in the inner circle. I mean, where else can you have a fucking old, fucking, fucking 180E Mercedes and you're part of the hoi polloi Mercedes club? You can't, you can't, <laughs> you can't. But <laughs> you can have an Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Moon you can have a Rolex and a couple of little pieces, which are quite, you know, in super rich man talk, quite modest. And you're part of this inner circle. The inner club, fuckers. <coughs> and that's what I love about it. And uh, the, the beautiful thing with watches is you go in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. You buy a piece and you sell a piece. You buy a piece and you sell a piece. I've had... I've had a couple of Pateks, I've had some, I've had a couple of uh, Breguets, I've had a couple of APs, I've had a Vacheron, I've had, you know, you have a few pieces, you're in the, it's in the hoi polloi, you're in the inner circle. And there's no other hobby <laughs> that allows you to do that. You cannot, if you... If you're talking automobiles, say you want a Ferrari, 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 Ferrari. Well, fuck me dead. Membership is very expensive. <laughs> you, you, what are you looking at for a decent Ferrari? You know, <laughs> a decent... In, in Australia, 
In America, it's a bit cheaper, but in Australia, you 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 have to spend fucking a hundred thousand to get an F. Sorry, to get a uh, a three fifty, a three fifty five, three fifty five, or a three four eight would be maybe a little bit cheaper. <laughs> with the dog, oh, nothing wrong with a three four eight. But you know what I'm saying? They're big money, and then you got to garage the fucking thing. You got to fucking look after it, Reggio. Insurance, it's all fucking one big money pit. Take the bitch for a service. You could easily spend ten thousand dollars on a Ferrari service, couldn't you? <laughs> and this is the whole fucking thing with watches. I mean, you can seriously come into the the inner circle of having a decent watch collection for what twenty, thirty thousand dollars. And you're up there with someone who collects Patek fucking annual calendars or fucking grand complication perpetual calendar chronographs. <laughs> you're in that you're in that group. And that's the whole thing, fuckers. That's the whole thing indeed. So when it comes to these type of fuckers, why not? Why not? You know, this is one of the things. You you buy these things and, you know, it, it's... it's um, You want to be play with Ferraris or Maseratis? It's painful. Expensive. You want to deal in watches? <laughs> it's not too bad. It's not too bad. And that's the thing I love about watch collecting. Is that they're really quite cool. I was talking to another fan yesterday. I was talking to... Danny! Hello, Danny! Danny in San Fran. I was talking to Danny, and I was talking to Danny's mate, uh, Trace. What was Danny? Danny's mate? Yeah, Trace. Trace. Trace in Vegas. <laughs> and I said to Danny, I said, Danny, Danny was asking me, hey, does he buy a ceramic, steel ceramic Daytona 500 over retail? I said, just buy the fucking thing. Buy it, man! <laughs> buy it! Danny, buy it! Danny deals in uh, luxury cars. I said, Danny, buy the fucking Daytona. 500 over rods, you'll always sell it. Oh, you know, it, it, it's, 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 it's very reasonable buying, Danny. That's what I said to him. It's reasonable buying. You can't fucking go that wrong. I mean, where else could you buy a fucking Porsche? Could you buy a Porsche? Keep it for fucking 12 months, sell it and get your money back. No, I don't think so. Could you do it with a Mercedes Benz? Buy a fucking, a fucking C, C250 or an SLK250 and, 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 and keep it for six months. You would fucking hemorrhage money. But with watches, you can do it. You can really fucking do it. And that's what's so great about watches. They're a instant currency. World currency, inflation hedge, dollar hedge, every fucking hedge you could want. International currency. Hoi polo, you can be a watch collector. And uh, I tell you what, that's what I love about collecting watches. Is that you don't have huge storage costs. You don't have a fucking garage for each one. The service costs, okay, servicing. <laughs> you got, you got to send the cunt back to AP or fucking... PP, Patek Philippe, you can get resold. I know, I know, I know. <clears throat> At least you can put the bastard in the bank safe and think, oh, I'll deal with it later. I'll deal with it later. You haven't got some nagging wife. Oh, the Ferrari broken. When are you going to fix your Ferrari? Why don't you fucking shut your fucking fucking mouth, you fucking lazy bitch? Why don't you get a fucking second job so that I can fucking fix my fucking Ferrari? That's the whole thing, see? So... It's really quite an interesting thing. And I got to tell you, watches are so <laughs> transportable and cool to live with. They just, you just strap it on. And I, I, I think they're so cool. So there you go, fuckers. I'm, I'm the pontiff. I'm Archibald Chesterfield the third. AC3. AC3, fuckers. AC3. Tell me what you lousy, miserable fuckers... Think of that. Nice one, Archie. Great bid. We specialize here in pre-owned Rolex watches. Rolex watch is a very special timepiece, and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. 
we buy a pre-owned piece and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece, we adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car, you're just not going to bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spent $5,000, it's like if you put money in the safe deposit box. And one or two years from now, you will keep having your $5,000. We have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together, but makes me feel I doing what I'm supposed to do. It's not a question of money, it's my passion. Jewelers on time, simply the best.